I am Dr. K. Srikant, Senior Surgical Oncologist from Ashoda Hospital, Somaji Guda, Hyderabad, India. September is a Thyroid Cancer Awareness Month. So I would just like to tell briefly a bit about thyroid cancer and certain important uh, symptoms that relate to the early detection of the thyroid cancer. A thyroid cancer is a reasonably most common malignancy, especially in women when compared to men. But uh, most of the thyroid cancers which are detected are in, in women. But all the thyroid nodules, what we see, thyroid is nothing but a small endocrine, butterfly-shaped endocrine gland which is situated in the lower part of the neck. It has got a right lobe, it has got a left lobe, and it has been, both these lobes are joined by a small bridge called as isthmus. So we usually see thyroid nodules, what we call as enlarged thyroid masses in women because of some hormonal changes. But most of the thyroid nodules, I would say eight or nine of these thyroid nodules, what we call as solitary thyroid nodules are usually benign. That means they are not cancerous. One or two of these solitary thyroid nodules are cancerous. So a painless nodule or lump in the lower part of the neck is something which usually says it is from the thyroid. Not, though not always, but usually. So how do we go about? So they are usually painless. They usually do not cause any symptoms of discomfort. They usually do not give rise to any disturbance to the patient. But they are usually noticed by more than the patient by somebody, others, they're like their friends, family members, because whenever they swallow, during the swallowing movement, we find a small lump here going up and down. So when such a thing is detected, the first and foremost thing is to seek a medical advice. So see a medical doctor and then get certain important investigations done like an ultrasound neck just to see whether it is actually from the thyroid or is it anything related to the cervical lymph nodes in the neck. And if it is from the thyroid or even in the lymph nodes, next thing would be to get a needle test done which we call as FNAC. It is Fine Needle Aspiration Cytology. This will tell us, examine the cells and tell us whether the cells that have been aspirated from the nodule are looking cancerous or non-cancerous. Or sometimes they may have features which are suspicious of cancer. So this, are, this is the most important investigation which will give a clue whether the nodule that is coming from the thyroid is cancerous or not cancerous or it is borderline. So there are four types of thyroid cancers which we usually see. The most common what we call it as well differentiated thyroid cancers which will have papillary thyroid cancer or a follicular thyroid cancer or a combination of follicular variant of papillary carcinoma. The second is medullary thyroid cancer, which arises from the interfollicular cells of thyroid. The fourth one is anaplastic thyroid cancer. So these are the most common thyroid cancers that are seen. Among this, the well-differentiated thyroid cancer are the most common. 90% of the cancers in thyroid are usually well-differentiated, 90 or even 95%. Anaplastic carcinoma accounts for about 1 to 2% and 5 to 7% is usually the incidence of medullary thyroid cancers and remaining 1% is metastatic or very rare cancers which are lymphomas, ground cell tumors, or metastatic carcinomas which are usually very uncommon. So when most of these cancers are seen usually either at an earlier age or at a slightly later age. So thyroid cancer is one cancer which can occur at an younger age also. That means what I mean to say is somewhere between the third and the fourth decade. What we usually think is cancers come beyond after the age of 50 years or 60 years. But thyroid cancer is one such cancer which can come even at an younger age. So the incidence of thyroid cancer in childhood is also high but the cure of thyroid cancer in childhood is also reasonably good. But when in women, eight of the ten solitary thyroid nodules or benign but whereas in men it is reverse or it is inverse when you see a thyroid nodule in a man most of the times seven out of ten times it is cancerous and it is not benign so though it the incidence in men is less but the incidence of nodules the cancer incidence in the nodules that are detected in men are, are more is more higher when compared to women 
So in early stages, as I told you, there are no symptoms. But when the when the stage is advanced or when the cancer grows, it is it usually either it grows out or it grows inside or it goes both ways. So when it grows inside the immediate vicinity, there is the breathing pipe, what we call as trachea, and there's esophagus, and there are nerves which are responsible for our voice, which we call as recurrent laryngeal nerves. So when the size increases and the, when the thyroid cancer grows into the groove between the th uh, trachea and the esophagus, this nerve gets affected and there will be a change in the voice, what we call as hoarseness of voice. So sometimes without the nodule being seen on the, in the neck, the patient may present with a change in the voice, what we call as hoarseness. That is because of the pressure of the thyroid cancer or thyroid nodule on the nerve or invasion of the nerve by the thyroid cancer. So these are the common symptoms which we see in uh, thyroid malignancies or thyroid nodules. So please don't ignore any nodules which you see in the neck which are not there before or sometimes these nodules would have been there for quite some time. See, we see patients who have this thyroid nodule from 10 years. That time the doctors would have told it is benign, there is no need for any surgery. But when that nodule starts growing in size or when they see some changes in the nodule, then it is, a, it is an indication that there, are, there is some change like cancer which is happening in the nodule. So we have seen many patients who were told 10-15 years back by their family doctor that there is no need for any operation or this, it is not cancerous. So they, they ignore it in the sense they feel it is not cancerous, so they just leave it like that. But many times when it starts growing in front of them, still they think that, okay, the doctor has told it is not cancer 15 years back and it may not be cancer. But what is important is when the nodule in the thyroid was static for 10 years and after 10, 15 years, you find the size is increasing, you find there are some changes in the nodule, it is very important to seek a medical advice because that is the first change that indicates that there is some cancerous thing or malignant transformation happening in the thyroid. So, and also my advice to all those patients who have got nodules, long-standing nodules in thyroid is get an ultrasound thyroid done once in two years at least or once in three years because at least you would know what changes are happening inside. The ultrasound neck is a very non-invasive procedure. It does not have any radiation exposure to the patient and it it is not expensive also. And it is just a daycare procedure. You go just in 10-15 minutes, it is done and then you come out at least that way because the cure rates in thyroid cancer are very high and if it detected early, almost the cure rates are more than 95% in stage 1 or I can say 95 to 98% in stage 1. So please be aware of this thyroid nodules, don't ignore them, though it is a very good cancer or a very friendly cancer or a very slow growing cancer, they can be very nasty sometimes. So don't ignore any of these nodules that you see in the neck in the region of the thyroid. And also, these, uh, these thyroid cancers, sometimes they are hereditary also. That is, they are familiar sometimes, especially the papillary thyroid cancers and mostly and more importantly, the medullary thyroid cancer. So, families who have medullary thyroid cancer in one of their, suppose the, the uh, father or mother has medullary thyroid cancer and the next generation should be very vigilant about those things. So, they should keep getting their thyroid examined and if the medullary thyroid cancer is seen in two generations, then I think uh, uh, it's time for the people in that generation to get molecular studies or genetic studies. And if the mutation which is responsible, which is seen in the medullary thyroid cancer is uh, affected in, the, in, the, in any of these family members, then we would actually recommend a prophylactic thyroidectomy because the incidence of uh, uh, this cancer developing in that particular person where the mutation is seen is almost 100% in their lifetime. So, uh, thyroid cancers do have a genetic predisposition, uh, especially the papillary thyroid cancer and mostly medullary thyroid cancer. So, it is important for those patients in the generations, families who have thyroid cancer to also be under surveillance uh, under a medical professional. For more updates, please like, share and subscribe.